Oh, hello everyone. Uh, so I just wanted to go over my first hi-fi tube amplifier that I designed and built myself. It's pretty simple. Um, kind of made it out of spare parts I had laying around. The output transformers back here are ones that I took out of a old console radio that I picked up at a flea market that was beyond repair, but the output transformers were still good. Uh, this power transformer is one I had for maybe a guitar amplifier project, uh, but I decided to use it for this as it fit the need pretty well. Um, chassis I ordered uh, with the nice walnut sides on here, volume control switch. Uh, so we got can cap up here uh, for filtering, 5AR4 rectifier tube, two uh, EL. 84s and these are wired in triode normally in like a guitar amplifier they'd be wired in pentode uh, triode kind of allows for less distortion and is a different sound and feel than pentodes uh, for guitar players you'll see some amplifiers with two power tubes but then like a half power switch but that half power switch is really is going from pentode to triode triode being the lower power and then up front, we have a 12AU7. Now, you have designed this to where you can use a AT7, AX7. But um, as we'll see on the measurements, that it needs a lower gain here because this thing gets distorted real quick. However, it puts out enough power for my use. So let's go take a look at that now. So we have the audio analyzer suite provided by the Stuff Made, uh, the creator who programmed this. I'm using my Analog Discovery 3. Let's check out the THD versus power and see how this little amplifier performs. And if you want to compare it to the Dynaco SD70 amplifier that I restored, I'll put up a link in the video now. So as we can see here, up here about 5% total harmonic distortion. It's doing 2 watts, so not a lot of power and pretty distorted. Down here at about 1% THD, it's doing a quarter of a watt. And I can tell you, with a good set of speakers, that is more than enough to fill a small to medium-sized living room. Now, 1% distortion, you would think, that might be a little too distorted. But about 1% is where people say it has a tube sound to it, where it's not clipping, but it's more rounded off. And I can kind of show you when we do some more analysis on here. So I'm gonna still use the same 0.3 input volts, just like the Dynaco. And we're gonna go 20 Hertz to 20 kilohertz, just like before with the Dyno ST70 that I did. Now, I know this is not going to perform anywhere near as nice as that Dynaco SD70. Uh, that Dynaco SD70 is a push pull amplifier. This is a single ended triode amplifier. Uh, so, you can see major roll off in the lows. Still not too terribly bad. Uh, down here, it's almost 3 dB down. So three decibels is half power. So it's like the difference between a 50 watt amplifier and a 25 watt amplifier. Not going to notice it a whole lot. And up here at 20 kilohertz, it's only rolling it off by about a, a dB. So it doesn't have the extended highs and lows, but really focusing on the mid range. For a lot of the music I listen to, which is more jazz fusion, it works pretty well with it. So now let's look at the THD versus frequency, and I'm going to bump this down to a quarter of a watt, and we'll see how it does. Now I'm still expecting the lows to be more distorted than the mid-range and the highs, and as you can see on the scope down there, how it's not 100% pure sine wave, it was rolled off on the edges a little bit, that's the tube sound, where it's not clipped, but it's not a perfect sine wave either. So here at that quarter of a watt, you can see, you know, up above, it's about 125 hertz, it's below 1% THD at the one kilohertz mark. 
it's three quarters of a percent but down here in the real low range region it's six to seven percent that's really getting into some distorted where you can hear it uh, but as a for playing some jazz records it's a great amplifier and i wanted to build this before i get into my next hi-fi build which will be a 300b so stay tuned for that please like and subscribe